hello my Capricorn babies. This is going to be your weekly video for October 10th, 2022. Take only what resonates, leave the rest. I do a daily TikTok reading on TikTok. Hello, redundant, but yeah, that. So, <laughs> if you're interested in following me over there, everything you need to know about me is down in the description box below. Alright, so let's get started for your week. Let's see what we got going on here for your week. All right, Spirit, what do you have going on for my Capricorn babies? What does my Capricorn babies have to look forward to? Okay. Hmm. Alright, so, so far we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. You're putting work into having something that is so strong. A lot of foundation. This could be towards business. You could be stepping up in a business or looking for money um, type things of building up your money. Um, but this is prosperity and abundance. And it comes in different forms. It doesn't just have to be monetary. But there is a sense of you working your ass off for something. And it's something that's going to be a huge payout something that's huge we do have the five of cups it could be hard um this could be something that is taxing to your emotions um there could be times that you're looking at um a loss versus a gain and so it's very important that you look at the positive side versus the negative side it's almost like um it's like the placebo effect it's like if you train your mind that you're already there, you know, you train your mind, I'm already at the point of where I need to be. You are going to manifest that for yourself and it's going to come to light. It's going to be honest. It's going to be truthful for you and for your reality. So we do have the five of pentacles. There is something that you are definitely fighting when it comes to foundation. Like I feel like that you could be appearing stronger than what you feel. But it's like you don't want to give in to that fear. You don't want to give in to um, showing, quote unquote, your weaknesses. Because you feel like if you show that, then you are confirming them. And if you confirm them, what are you doing? You are manifesting that. And so I feel like that you are trying to manifest something else into your life. It's like this is your hope. This is what you have your eyes set upon. Success. Lots of success. But there's a little self-doubt creeping in when it comes to emotional and when it comes to your success to this. It's very important that you lean on people when you need to lean on them and, you know, get support when you need to get support. But it's also important for you to be optimistic and to look forward versus backwards. We do have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Don't have to be. Um... Which would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this could also be you getting in your head or you're finding out answers from somebody. This is a person who comes in and they give you mental clarity. You know, this person is going to tell you truth. They're going to tell you honesty. They're going to be very knowledgeable about what they do. We do have the lover's card coming out. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You don't have to be. But this... This is a love connection. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but it is a sense of a love connection. You're going to find out whatever truth that you need to find out. And it's like, it's making you connect harder with another person. So we do also have the Queen of Swords coming out. It's like... You could be having a conversation with somebody where you're both being blunt, honest with each other. You could both be be blunt honest with each other one is coming from a more mental standpoint like a practical view and one could be coming more from the heart so it's kind of like that perfect balance of yin and yang but yet you're doing the same thing for each other it's like you're providing truth and you're providing clarity we do have the fool you are wanting to take a chance and, and just jump ahead to something it's almost like you don't want to look you just want to do it you don't want to stress too much about it. You just want to do it. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about what I'm jumping over. I'm just going to jump over that bitch. I see the obstacle, but I don't want to stop and unpack the box. It's like I see the box sitting in front of me. And I want to jump over it and get to the goal. 
I don't want to stop and unpack that box. And that's kind of the vibe that I get from here, especially with the Eight of Cups. You're deciding to move from one section to another. You are moving from what no longer serves you, nor are you owning it mentally or physically or emotionally. We have the bottom deck energy here of the temperance. Okay, so you are trying to, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you don't have to be, but there is a sense of you balancing things out, finding harmony, finding peace. Maybe you are meditating, maybe you're trying something different, but the temperance card to me is all about making things peaceful and having patience for it. You know that you have something that you have to work through. Okay, there's something that you have to work through and you are determined to do it in the most peaceful way possible because you know you are what you bring to you. Okay, what you want to bring to you, you have to be that in order for you to keep bringing it in. With the judgment card here, I feel like that this is something of you stepping out of your realm. Look at the brain. The brain is all lit up. Okay, okay. Your brain is all lit up with ideas. You're having to make that judgment call. You're having to step out into something new. It could be a new frame of mind, a new sense of confidence, a new sense of I need to make sure I think positive. I need to make sure that, you know, I leave the old stuff behind and I'm only focusing on new stuff. I feel like that you are definitely making a judgment call to go in a certain direction when it comes to your frame of mind. It's like once you change your frame of mind, there's no going back to the old stuff. We have the Hermit card. The Hermit card, you could be dealing with the Virgo. You don't have to be. You could also be dealing with the Libra. You don't have to be. But there is a sense of you, you know, looking at your own reflection. You are digging deep. You are, you know, um, it's like you're learning new things about yourself on how you can be positive. You know, like what else can I can I do to help a certain situation? We have the seven of swords of you trying to find different strategies. You know, you're trying to find different strategies on how to deal with some things. But you have to be mindful about overthinking. There's only so far that you can do when it comes to control. You can only do what you can do and know that it's going to take consistency in order for you to get results. None of this is going to come overnight. We do have the seven of wands of you being a bit defensive um, over what you're working at. You know, you're working at it. You're being defensive. You want it to work. Okay. You have that sense of, I need this to work. And so there is a sense of you, you know, kind of having a little bit of fear that it's not going to work, but it's like, that is not your focus. It's like, there could be like little tiny thoughts, but as soon as you have them, you're like pushing them out in a way. All right, so with the High Priestess, you are using your intuition. You are tapping within. We have the Ace of Cups of you following your heart when it comes to a certain situation. You're having a new beginning of following your heart, opening up. We have the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with somebody who is fun, um, very loving, and, you know, they're wanting to make you laugh. They're very charming. Knight of Wands could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, but doesn't have to be. But this person, you know, they're trying to keep it light. Like, they're trying to show you, like, a different side. So that way you can kind of... It's almost like... Um, so you don't have to take the situation too seriously. But with the Three of Wands, I feel like that you're waiting on something to come to you. It's like, okay, I've done my homework. I've done everything I need to do. Now all I have to do is wait and see what comes back for me. You know, like, what what is going to happen. You're waiting for the outcome of whatever it is that you put your work into. But I see here with the Page of Cups, you know, there is a small, you know, token of love that's coming towards you, you know. There's something that's, that, you know, we have the tower here. So there is something that's going to have to be rebuilt. And with the Two of Swords, you're going to have to figure out how. How are you going to rebuild it? But with the Six of Wands, there's a sense of celebration. There is a sense of you winning a battle. You know, there is a battle that you're going to win here. Just know that you're going to have to go through things in order for this battle to be won. But you are definitely going to be winning this battle. And here's a star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But this is overall healing. You have a lot of healing coming to you. So with the two of wands, you're deciding to go forward with this healing. You're gonna have you're gonna have struggles. 
But overall, it's going to be worth it because the healing that's coming to you is fucking amazing. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection, Capricorn. That's what I have for you for this week. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.